I'm going to show you how to run a t-test in Excel uh, the simple way that will work on both a Mac and a PC. Here we have two sets of data both of which would ultimately be graphed with a column graph because we have categories for our two columns um, whereas a scatter plot of course would have numbers um, a, a range of numbers on both columns so here we have uh, columns that uh, are going to be like kind of way like beaver fork and over here before and after. So I have two different sets of data. The first one is large mouth bass length for Lake Conway and Lake Beaver Fork. Let's start with that one. Let's say we're going to run a t-test on that data. And let's say our hypothesis is that Lake Conway will have bigger or, I sh or longer large mouth bass than Lake Beaver Fork. Now if we predict directionality longer that means we need to do a one-tailed t-test. Now to do that we would say equals t-test open a parenthesis, open a parenthesis, highlight the data, so notice it says exactly what to do there beneath uh, the t-test, array 1, array 2, tails, and type, so array 1 is that set of data, comma, array 2 is that set of data, comma, number of tails, 1, it's a one-tailed test because we predict that Lake Conway will have bigger fish, and then comma again, and the last one there, um, when we have data like this, biological data, and we don't know the variance, well, we don't, so we're going to do number three. Unequal variance is what we'll assume. And we'll close the parenthesis and hit enter. There, our p-value that's calculated is 0 0.032. All right, so that is a significant difference. I would put that number, 0 0.032, in my caption and in my written results section. Um, and that's all there is to it. Now, for this other data, this is different. Here we have person number one, two, and three. We have the heart rate of person number one before exercise and after, person number two before and after, and three before and after. So they have paired data here. So this is going to require a paired t-test. So to do that, pick where you want your t-test to go. Go equals and uh, type t-test again. It's just like before, array one comma, array two, comma, tails, let's say we predict that before exercise your heart rate will be slower than after, so that is a one-tailed test, that's prediction of directionality, comma, and then lastly here, a paired test, or number one, and we hit enter. So here we can see a p-value of 0 0.008. Once again, that would go in my caption and in my written results. If I had a very, very, very tiny p-value that had a exponent, uh, then I would just put in my caption uh, less than, uh, the p-value was less than 0 0.05. But I would probably still put the actual p-value in my written results section. So that's as easy uh, as it gets. So uh, there's how to do a t-test in Excel with two different kinds of data. Thanks for watching.